Now, moving on to deposition, we don't always want to remove things. We sometimes wish to add layers. There are two key types, um, low pressure chemical vapor deposition and plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition. The, the concept of them both is that we want to input some gases and we want to break down these gases so that they react in the chamber and, and cause the growth of a film. Now, the, in the low pressure system, the gases are decomposed by heat, whereas in the plasma system, they're decomposed by a plasma. Um, and this slide compares the two. Now, a general rule of thumb is that the higher temperature gives you a better quality film. So you might think, why don't we always use the low pressure CBD at a very high temperature to give us the best quality films? But the answer to that question is that that temperature will affect other devices that may already be built into your substrate. So thinking back to the um, the carry depletion modulator that I talked you through. At the point we come to add the cladding, which is where we'd use a CVD process, we already have lots of dopants in the wafer. If we used a low pressure, high temperature um, process, all of those dopants would diffuse and you'd basically just destroy your device. So we need to use a plasma chemistry that can happen at much lower temperatures so that the dopants aren't diffused. The, the sort of drawback is that we have a lower quality film. The left hand side shows what a CVD system would look like, and you may think that's almost the same as an etching system, and, and you'd be right. The, the key differences are shown on the right hand side. The main one being that in this case, we actually ground the, the um, table. And the reason for that is that that's prevents an accumulation of bias. So we don't want to accelerate high energy ions and, and etch away material in this case. Um, so we bias it, so it just naturally lets the film grow. And in the case of etching, we'd usually cool the table to prevent the resist burning. But with a deposition process, we'd heat the, heat the table to encourage the film growth. 